guys. I uh, just thought I'd make a video showing you my like base, my face base collection, I guess, like the concealers, um, foundation, eye primers, along with like blush, highlighter, and face powder. Because otherwise it wouldn't be enough for one video, I don't think. So first off I have this. This is uh, Peach Perfect, and I have it in the shade uh, Swan. This is my favorite one right now. I'm using it, using this one up before I go to the next one. I'm like down to here on it. This is really good for oily skin, as you can see here. Really like it. I like how it has a pump. Yeah. Then I have this um, Juvia's Place. I like this one a lot too. It's very high coverage, you don't need a ton. And I have this in Vienna 700. And then I have this Alginist. It's like a color corrector moisturizer type of thing. And I don't really like it very much, but I need to use it again to see what's going on. The color's okay, it just is kind of oily. Yeah. And then I got this in my Ipsy recently. I haven't tried it yet. It's a CC cream. It Cosmetics. I think it's in the light color. I can't really tell in here. Yeah, so that's all I have for foundations. And then I just have um, two concealers right now. I've got the uh, Tarte Shape Tape, and this is the one I'm working on right now. It's a pretty light color. It's a pretty light color, but I'm just trying to get through it. It's in Fair, Neutral. Yeah, I think I'm getting pretty low on it. Go down to here. And then I have this Jeffree Star Concealer in... C8. I really like this stuff. It's beautiful too, of course. Looks like that. It's a very nice uh, concealer. I mean, all concealers crease on me because I've got like larger eyes that kind of poke out, but this one doesn't crease as much. So, yeah. Then I've got some primers, some face primers. This I think is mostly just um, SPF, but I don't really care for it because it's very shiny. Or very sparkly rather. I've only tried it once, but I might give it away to someone who will use it more. It kind of smells weird too. And I have this. It's a Makeup Forever. Oh, Mattifying Primer. Okay. It's, uh, okay. I've used it a few times, and I think it's made me a bit oilier. I want to use it, like, one more time to see if I, if I really like it or not. But, yeah. And then I've got um, this Too Faced Hangover one. This one's basically just, like, a moisturizer. I'm re really close to being done with it. Squeeze it up and it's just... Oh! <laughs> waste on there. Whoops! Oh well. Yeah, it's really nice. Feels very hydrating. I don't use it too much of it because like I said, I'm pretty oily. And I have this glossy... Um, primer from Touch and Soul. And this one is okay. Again, it makes you kind of greasy, so gotta be sparing with it. I'll keep trying it out, and then if I don't like it, I'll give it to one of my sisters or my mom. Yeah. And then I've got some eye bases or primers. This one is the NYX 
glitter primer. I'm really close to being done with this one, which is sad because I use this like almost every time I wear makeup. It just makes things last so much longer. But it's a really good one. I definitely need to repurchase it soon. And then I've got this one. I put this one on under everything. And it's um, Urban Decay Primer in Eden. Looks like that. I'm getting pretty close to being done. It's got quite a bit in it though. And then I've got this here. Um, this is a MAC paint pot in Soft Ochre. I've used this like three or four times, but I'm working on the other one first, so. Yeah, I like it though. Powders here. I've got the air spun in translucent extra coverage. And I'm pretty close to being. Look, well, I've used up quite a bit on it. This is like um, my go to one. Definitely works and stays on when I'm at work. So I like it. I like the smell. I know some people say it smells like perfumey, but. I enjoy the scent. And then I've got this um, Jeffree Star one. And it is in Fair. This one's really nice. Um, I don't think it's as long wearing as the Airspun, but it definitely has a nicer finish to it. And it smells sweet and it tastes sweet. <laughs> you get some in your mouth. And then I have this... Um, Laura Mercier press powder one. It's got some fingerprints on it, but I think this isn't tra yeah, translucent. And it's just a pressed powder. It's pretty nice. It doesn't give as good coverage as um, the loose powder, but I got it on Hot Look for a good deal, so I thought I'd try it out, and I do like it. Oh, and this one has become my favorite one is the Peach Perfect. Again, it's dirty. <laughs> you get powder everywhere. <laughs> um, and it's in the translucent. But yeah, this one's really nice. Um, this one is long wearing and it um, makes your makeup look really nice. So it's like in between the Airspun and the Jeffree Star one for me. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it a lot. These are my blushes. Um, some of them are gonna have like highlighters or bronzers in them, but it's just the way I chose to um, categorize them. And then some blushes are in like eyeshadow palettes that so can't really separate them. So yeah. Anyways, this is the Cheek of Thon palette from Benefit. I had this for a few years now, I think. I think it was like a Christmas thing last year or the year before, I can't really remember, but it's got Dandelion, Hula, Rocketeer, Rocketeur, I don't know, Dallas, Curly stuff, and I've been using up Hula and Curly stuff. I've been dipping into um, Dandelion more. Dallas is really hard for me to use. <laughs> I don't really know how to use it, and Rocketeur is really nice. Yeah, it's losing its nice scent, but it can't last forever. It's really uh, a good palette, though. I enjoy it. And then I have this blush palette from Too Faced. And this is a really nice one. I like it. This is the reason why I haven't needed a lot of blushes, honestly. This here, Justify My Love, is... One of my favorite ones. I think I'm gonna probably hit pan on it soon. I really like this too. All of them are really nice. Um, Baby Love is harder to show up, but it still looks pretty. And I really like the peachy toned ones. And it's a good size, it's not too big. It's a manageable size. So, yeah, this is 
really nice one. Again, it's dirty because I've had it forever. It's been on trips and stuff with me. And then I've got, I've got this liquid blush from Benefit. It's called the Benetent. I don't know, does it say color or is that just the name of it? I don't know what color it is. But I, I really like this. I've used a little bit over half of it up. And I use this on days like I don't really wear makeup, but I, I just put a little bit of this on my cheeks. It's nice. It smells really good. This is like the travel size, and this is the only size I would ever need. So, hmm. And then I have this NARS palette. This is the only thing I have from NARS. It's got cool packaging. Ooh. And it, it's called Exposed, I think. Yeah. And these are all the names of the blushes. And there's one highlighter in there. I like highlighter. This isn't my favorite formula blush, but it's okay. I thought it was good to try. Yeah. And it's just very, it was very pretty, let's be honest. <laughs> This one from Cover FX. Again, I think this is the only thing I have from Cover FX, which is kind of funny, but the um, shape of it kind of reminds me of like a rubber rock. <laughs> um, I just, and the color, I'll show you. This is such a pretty color. And the highlighter, so gorgeous. Couldn't pass it up. It's nothing like I have, so. In the color Sweet Mulberry. Sorry about the noise. I think that's a lawnmower or something. Anyways. And then the last one I have in here is. Actually, I think I have one more. Well, this one is from. I got it um, from like a buy, like a free gift type thing. And it has a blush and highlighter in it. Very pretty color. Just kind of a peachy pink color. Yeah. And then the last one I have is this tart blush. I got an Ipsy. It looks like this. It's a very pretty color. in the color Quirky. It's one of my favorite ones, I think. I've been using it a lot, at least. That's my blush collection. So I'll be doing um, bronzers next. These are my bronzers. Like I said, I have um, a few bronzers and like that um, Chicathon palette and another one like a Tarte palette. So these aren't my only bronzers, but these are the ones that are like kind of not in other palettes. <laughs> so this is my um, butter bronzer, and I think it's just in the regular, the regular bronze shade. Yeah, it looks like this. It smells so good. I've used quite a bit of it. It's a very nice color for me. It's got like a hidden compartment with a mirror and like a little sponge thing I've never used. But oh, I love the smell. It's great. Then I have this guy here. It's a Too Faced bronzer. And I just basically got it because it's adorable. <laughs> Thankfully the shade worked out, but it's in gingerbread tan. It's hard to get open. And this is what it looks like. So cute. The little white comes off when you use it, unfortunately. But it's a nice color. I like it. Makes me in the Christmas mood. And then I just got this in um, my Ipsy Plus. And it looks like this. 
I've only used these two so far. I used this as eyeshadow one day and then this as my bronzer and I really liked it. It's a really nice, um, really a nice bronzer I would say. So, yeah. Not too many but... And um, then I've got my, um, highlighters now. Alright, time to look at all my highlighters. So, where to start? <laughs> this is, I think, one of my first ones. This is like the Winky Lux. Um, what was it called? Charm? I think it might be called Charm. Holographic highlighter. It's not holographic, but it's still very pretty. It looks just kind of white, but I think it's like a ready. dark pink yeah it's quite pretty and then I have this one from Coven Cosmetics and it's in the shade Pisces it did break randomly one day but it's got half of it left still it's really pretty if you like more out there highlighters or just a eyeshadow too if you want. Yeah, I like it. Get the rest of it used up. And then I have this here, which is a state in the color <laughs> Do Me. Or Lit. I'm not sure. I got this one in an Ipsy a few months back. It looks like nothing much, but I think it's very pretty. Then I've got this Wet n Wild one. It's from their like um, Element collection. And this one is water. I'm not sure what it says. This has all the signs on it, the zodiac signs. It's a very nice bluey color. With like gold in it. Then I've got this other wet wild one from the zodiac collection as well. It's a loose one, looks like that. <laughs> Very crumbly, but it is pretty if you only use a little bit. I used way too much. But I like it a lot, it'll take me 10,000 years if ever I use it up, but that's okay. What shade does it say it is? I don't think it has a shade. <laughs> Anyways, got this Yacht Tail London one. Um, this is a Jessica Rabbit. So it looks like this. It is a very pretty color. It's kind of more basic. Like a champagne color. This um, highlighter palette called the Luminizer Squad, which is kind of kind of cute. It's got Mary Lou, Cindy Lou, Honey Lou, Emma Lou. So that one at the top is more champagne. -y. It's more. Um, rosy, white, and more gold. I've been using Mary Lou more, but I do like all of them pretty, pretty equally. I'll keep it in this just for protection. Uh, 
and get it back in. Close. Yeah, it's a good one. And I've got this MAC one in the shade Snow Flushed. Looks like this. And it's kind of like a dual chrome. I love it. It's so pretty. And then I have two, oh, I have three Jeffree Star ones. Two of these type, the Skin Frost ones and King Tut. I got this from a mystery box a while back there. And this one I did have to repress because I broke it. And this is the newer one, the Mystery Frost. That looks like that. The black spots are supposed to be there. Like goldeny orange. And then I have this one. And it's in, it's in the shade Hypothermia. It looks like these. Another dewy chrome one. And looks like that. It's like more of a wet looking one. And then I have this guy here, which I just got as well. It's the only liquid one I have, and it is in the shade Chill Zone. I got this one in the mystery box as well as the, the mystery one down here. It is very dark, but I've used it once, and I can um, I can actually get a good look from it. It's more like a blush slash highlighter on me. It's definitely hard to come off on camera. It is really nice though. I really like it. But yeah, so those are all my highlighters and that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!